Hey, it's Chris Singleton here from Style Factory, the go-to site for digital marketing and e-commerce advice. In this SEMrush versus Moz Pro comparison, I'm going to look at two of the best known SEO tools on the market. Both give you a huge amount of data on keywords, backlinks, domain authority, and technical SEO. However, there are some key differences and pros and cons to be aware of. So in this comparison, I'm going to share five key reasons to use SEMrush instead of Moz and five key ways in which Moz might be the better choice. Let's dive in, starting with the reasons to choose SEMrush. One, the reporting limits in SEMrush are more generous. SEMrush is much more generous than Moz when it comes to the number of reports you can pull per day. For example, on SEMrush's entry-level plan, you can pull 3,000 keyword reports per day. This is considerably more generous than Moz's 150 reports per month limit. This comparative generosity continues as you go up the pricing ladder. In general, SEMrush gives you access to much more data than Moz across all its plans. 2. SEMrush gives you search intent data. SEMrush gives you much more context about why users perform particular searches than Moz, thanks to its excellent search intent feature. As part of the data surfaced by SEMrush for a particular keyword, you'll see an intent box highlighting the context in which a particular search is made. This lets you know whether a search phrase is informational, commercial, navigational, or transactional. This data can be invaluable when working out which keywords are most likely to generate revenue and Moz doesn't currently provide it. 3. SEMrush gives you comprehensive PPC data. If you're looking for a research tool that gives you data on both organic search results and pay-per-click, you'll definitely find SEMrush to be the more suitable tool. This is because its advertising research features provide a large amount of Google Ads data, including keywords, ad positions, ad copy, landing page data, and more. Moz doesn't really offer any of this. 4. SEMrush gives you built-in outreach tools. A key part of SEO involves reaching out to other website owners, asking them to create links to your content. SEMrush's link building tool is great for this. You give it a URL and it returns a list of relevant websites to approach about backlinks. Not only this, but wherever possible, it also surfaces the relevant contact details for those websites. And on top of that, it gives you a built-in CRM style tool to manage the whole outreach process. You can simply connect this to your email account and do all your link building directly within SEMrush. Although Moz does provide you with good tools for identifying backlink opportunities, there's no comparable outreach system bundled with it. 5. SEMrush's support offering is a lot more comprehensive. Getting to grips with SEO tools like SEMrush and Moz can involve a fairly steep learning curve and you may find yourself leaning on customer support a bit. SEMrush's offering here is considerably better than Moz's. You can contact SEMrush by phone, live chat and email, while Moz only offers email support. Okay, so that's five key reasons to use SEMrush instead of Moz. But where does Moz win? I'll come to that in just a moment, but before I do, I want to invite you to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click the notifications bell. This helps us out and gives you easy access to all our SEO content going forward. Right, let's take a look now at the reasons to use Moz over SEMrush. One. Moz gives you more user accounts. By default, SEMrush only gives you one user account, even on its most expensive plan. By contrast, Moz gives you access to more user accounts as you go up the pricing ladder. This is helpful if you want to have multiple team members working on your campaigns. 2. Moz gives you a longer free trial. 
If you want to try Moz and SEMrush out, it's worth noting that Moz's free trial is much longer than the SEMrush one. You get 30 days to try Moz out compared to 7 with SEMrush. That said, if you know where to find the right link, you can try SEMrush out for 30 days via an extended free trial that isn't made publicly available on its website. We've put one of these special trial links in the video description. 3. Moz gives you access to data from more search engines. All the data you get in SEMrush relates exclusively to Google. However, when it comes to rank tracking, Moz gives you limited access to some data from Bing and Yahoo too. 4. Moz lets you crawl more pages each month. You can use either Moz or SEMrush to perform technical audits on websites to find out where improvements to them can be made. However, limits apply to the number of pages you can check and the Moz ones are more generous. On its entry level plan, Moz lets you crawl 400,000 pages for errors each month, while the equivalent SEMrush plan lets you crawl 100,000. 5. Moz's Link Intersect tool is more generous. A link intersect tool lets you compare your domain against those of your competitors and find out which websites are linking to them, but not to you. You can then target those websites and ask their owners to link to you too. While SEMrush's link intersect tool works with four domains, the Moz equivalent works with five. Okay, so that's our take on the key differences between Moz and SEMrush. I hope you found the comparison useful. If you'd like to try these tools out, you'll find links to the Moz trial and an extended SEMrush trial in the video description. There's lots more pros and cons of both platforms to discover though, so do check out our full comparison on the Style Factory site. There's a link to this in the video description too. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell to get more of our SEO content. And finally, if you have any questions about either SEMrush or Moz, do drop them in the comments section. We read them all and we'll do our best to help.